All right, last days of the year, we wanted to give you one final review for 2023. Holy cow, it has been a year. It's been ups, downs. It's been exhausting. <laughs> Tell us more, Quint. Uh, well, Happy New Year, everybody. First of all, it's been a fantastic year. It has been not without its trials and uh, tribulations. There's been a lot that transpired this year. I mean, it seems like just yesterday we were talking about the banking crisis in the regional banks. Mm -hmm. uh, is our money safe? Uh, we were talking about, you know, uh, Ukraine uh, being invaded by Russia. I mean, what else happened this year? There was Def uh, the United States got like downgraded. Downgraded the United States. I mean, there's been it's uh, had its fair share of headwinds. Fascinatingly, we are asked often or I shouldn't say asked, but a lot of people are who know we're in this industry wow what a great year you know you must really be enjoying this year and and you know an easy kind of like insinuating what an easy year when the market's right. just been up and i said it's actually been one of the most uh trying years in 23 years of my career and it's because as you all know despite the market movement which we are very pleased with it has been exhausting to sort of stay involved mm. in fact most of our conversations all throughout the year and we give kudos to you if you've been patient and you've stayed the course you've remained allocated you've stayed in the investment strategies if your clients that we have for you because the majority of our conversations this year has been why it's important to stay invested why it's important to have diversification etc now i don't think that's going to change i don't see really end in that i think markets were, were still quite optimistic especially in an election year in 2024 uh, but i believe firmly and i don't have a crystal ball but i suspect we will see volatility as early as the first few weeks in the year mm -hmm. i wouldn't be surprised at all after we've had this big run in the market, no one wants to realize taxes at the very end of the year. I wouldn't be surprised at all if we see some tax uh, selling, not to uh, take losses, obviously, but to take gains. And a lot of people do that in the beginning of the year after a real strong rise in the market, because in their mind, they're going, well, I got a whole year to figure this out, so might as well take them now. We are in the process of doing a rebalance. So we'll go through that. If you're clients of ours, we're doing some rebalancing to the st start of the year. We'll be writing more about this and dialoguing because we're making some unique structural changes. There's some unique structural changes we see happening in the market, some fantastic opportunities as we see them. So we're making some changes in portfolios. You'll be seeing those come through, but standard rebalancing after a really strong year. But no, I think it, it's been a great year. It's been a tax year and I think it's going to be uh, I'm positive for 2024 I'm, I'm hoping I'm optimistic for 2024 but I do still think there'll be volatility along the way and uncertainty is certainly as we head into the election yeah definitely I mean there's going to be a lot of news headlines there's still going to be fear out there for the opportunity to leave the markets and maybe go to a different vehicle or anything is there anything else people should know going into 2024 starting that year out about our firm or about what they should be considering with the markets beware of headlines mm. i have seen a report looking back to the start of 2023 and i encourage you again whether you're a client or not go back to things we were writing or videos we were doing in the beginning of the year i give ourselves pretty good kudos i i would give our we don't always do this but i would give ourselves a pat on the back for our views and our outlook because i've read reports of analysts very wise and smart analysts to start 2023 or economists for that matter mm -hmm. who predicted extreme recession extreme market declines in the face of extreme inflation that would continue none of that came to fruition right. Right. so be aware of headlines of people telling you what is going to happen be very careful no one knows we can make good decisions with the information that we have we can make good a uh, judgment we can take uh, good action well, no one knows we continue to be optimistic in the right. face of uncertainty any pullback that we see especially in the beginning of the year we do not we will not view that necessarily as a warning 
We will view that more as an opportunity. We do believe money will be coming in from the sidelines, people who have missed out on this rally. So ultimately, again, I, I, I genuinely believe it's going to be a positive year. I know you didn't ask me again my, my outlook, but I would say beware of headlines and also remain patient, r remain along your plan and your strategy, and, and remember that you know your plan and your strategy is to your retirement years and beyond. It's not next Tuesday. It's not next month. It's hopefully a very long time in the future. All right, great. Have a happy new year, everyone.